What's up guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to uh, data log and flash on your K-Tuner uh, version 1.2. So just to show you guys, this is the 1.2. I'm gonna plug it into the car. Turn on the car. So I have a little cheap phone that I bought at Walmart. It was just $25, but I did have, I do have the Tuner View app However, uh, however, I had issues connecting. I don't know. This is not a review on the K Tuner View. Uh, this phone that I bought for $25, like I said, at Walmart. I'm just using a little dollar store mount. Shout out to Daphne for the holder. Then I just, I, I lost a little 3M tape uh, that came with it. So I just put a little piece of sheet metal with a bunch of tape. So it holds on there. So anyways, you hit your K-Tuner View app. So it automatically connects because that's the way I have it. But yeah, so you can see the gauges. They move, so it is connected. I mean, you can always change the layout. I'm not gonna get fully into that because I mean, it's too extensive, but whatever. You can change the layout there. So originally, I would hit record to CSV which I thought was data logging. So in a way it kind of is, but tuners don't operate on CSV or at least not the one, uh, at least not Anna, cause he tried opening it and it was just a bunch of like spreadsheets. So you want to scroll all the way down to where it says K tuner menu. So you hit that right there. So it's going to take you to this screen. So then you hit it again. So you have the option to start onboard logging, which pretty much is uh, start data log, stop data log, check codes, clear codes, uh, flash, flash factory, and then flash. So when you flash on K-Tuner, like it gives you the option if you wanna go uh, between one, two, three, four, five, I don't know if six, but at least five tunes on the bottom so these are the different tunes you can you can preload on your k tuner so if you hit uh, flash just hit yes and it's gonna flash it right off the right off the phone or your app rather than having a laptop because you can see there is no laptop here so so in my case like I said it's start logging then stop stop logging so once you hit log, I mean, you can stay on this screen or hit back. That way you could see your gauges while you're driving. So once you went for a good 15, 20 minute drive or did some pulls, whatever your tuner wants to see, then you come back. Like I said, scroll all the way down, K tuner. And again, stop logging and you're done. So once that's done, you just have to take your little K-Tuner, uh, the actual uh, OBD2 port thing, take that off and plug it into your computer. So, so yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the K-Tuner. I'll show you here in a second what, uh, what to do on the computer portion. So here I know it's a little tricky. You actually have to get a USB and then uh, kind of extract the data. So I just thought the phone was easier and just I never thought of actually going to the K-Tuner app and actually making it work there. So yeah guys, I'm gonna transfer to the computer. So let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the computer version or the computer part. So once you take your, uh, your K-Tuner, so as you can see, this is the version one. So I have the USB plugged in. So you wanna make sure you are logging. That way, your, that way your K-Tuner is communicating with your computer. So you wanna go ahead and hit right here. So we click it. 
is going to take you to here. So this right here is all your data logs. So you can change the settings of how you want the data log to kind of start, to kind of start and delete on their own. That's in case you, uh, that's in case you're doing it on a, constant, on a constant basis, like driving or just tracking your car, etc. I mean, it'll start data logging on its own. That way, in case you have any issues, any uh, misfires, or you blow up your engine, etc., you can always go back and check your data log because I mean it'll be data logging but I mean I just check my gauges so I mean that's something to kind of go into on your own so over here I think my last one was this one right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download so then you click or you look down here in the bottom and it says downloading so once it actually reaches the 100% You'll be able to see. You'll be able to see the the calibration or the data log. And then right here, I have four. They're pretty small. They're uh, kilobytes. So as you can see, it's only 0.4 percent full. At one point, I had the factory settings set to. Oh, well, I don't know how I had them, but I had. Right here, I had them set to this, so every time pretty much I start the car and move it, it'll start data logging. Uh, so right here, I mean, it's at 2500 uh, RPM, but uh, throttle position at 50%. So once you hit 50% throttle body, or throttle uh, pedal and 2500 RPMs, it'll start logging. But then, it, of course, you can just go ahead and leave that box blank. And then that means these settings won't affect it. So, anyways, let's close here. So I'm just gonna wait for the for the data log to fully to fully download. In the meantime, I'm gonna log into my uh, Gmail and wait for wait for the log to download so I can view it and then send it to. Uh, to Anna so he can review it. Anyways, right, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, guys, stay wicked.